you know you've shopped at Whole Foods long enough when the security guard is uh, your friend now and reminds you that you've always got good energy and that it's much appreciated every time you come into the store. I think I've got my, my Whole Foods card. <laughs> You call me by my name. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I love you, give me, I just can't you deny. Okay? Yeah. No longer you okay? blinded, I can see you. Hey. I'm on my way to meet you. We gotta talk, you know. All these trials and tribulations got me tired, I need rest. And I heard that I can come to you when weary of my flesh. You awaken me from death. God, I need you. Walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone. Friday. Um, today is the 23rd. Yep, we're gonna go, baby. We're going, me and baby girl are going to the store real quick. We had a morning walk to one of the micro farms okay let me make sure her binky is properly situated um we are gonna go do a quick whole foods run i already had coffee but i think i had like at, at home cold brew but i think i'm going to if the coffee bar is open because it be hit or miss as we've discussed um i'm gonna get myself some coffee just grab a couple of things and we are going to be on on our way so yes i film now first of all i'm loving filming on my phone like it's just so convenient um, aside from the fact that I have my OctoBuddy, but <laughs> I love cinematic mode. So I feel like it just makes everything super crispy. Like even when I film for IG now, I do everything in cinematic mode and it just looks so much better. Oh, they're getting new windows too. Good for them. We love new windows. Um, but anyway, yeah, so just gonna get a couple of things. Um, I always forget about this construction up here and then I gotta go around, but it's not that deep. So anyway, um, today, I'm like, what's, what's going on? So what's on my heart today? I, I, number one, transitioning from one kid to two isn't the hardest thing. I'm not even gonna, well, I'll speak for my, for my own experience. It's not the hardest thing. It's definitely a change of scenery, change of pace, all those things. Um, uh, and I needed to have uh, God change my heart about some things. I feel like I was feeling not even like resentful because that's not, that's not it. Um, but sometimes G-Wagon, it's easy to uh, um, just like feel away about things, about all kinds of things. And um, I needed, I, I asked him to give me a change of heart regarding certain things and he, did it is doing it it's it's all coming it's all coming clear to me and I'm really I'm really grateful for that so um that being said I uh, was uh, I, I with the change of heart it, it changes with other stuff too like there are other things that um that fall in line with that heart change which I'm grateful for so like it's all it's all good stuff it's all good stuff but anyway it's been on my heart so I'm very vocal about the fact that I don't love to cook let's just start there I don't I don't I don't I'm, I'm just not like it's not my portion in the sense of like you know some women just like love to cook like my mom loves to cook she's really like loves new recipes like all this stuff I am working on getting there i feel like getting there would be a huge benefit um just overall overall it's not that deep but generally speaking i'm very like vocal and clear about the fact that i'm like i'm not your chef like your girl wants a private chef still so even if i get to the when when i get to the point of cooking more and all that stuff 
you know, every single day, all that good stuff. I still want a chef. So that is still out in the atmosphere. Like God already knows. Okay. God already knows. Um, also I have my press ons on my static nails, uh, um, a short almond and delicate pink. Um, so yeah, hands look nice. Feeling good. Feeling good. But anyway, I was just thinking this morning about how uh, I was, my husband and I were talking about his job and, you know, we're grateful for his job and all that stuff. There are other things that without putting that business on the internet, um, there are things that, you know, could be better as far as, as far as, um, we'll go ahead and say management, you know, there are just certain people do things really well and then there were other things that people don't do really well and that's where we'll leave that but anyway while we were talking with him while, while I was talking while we were talking together it just made me think about how important it is as a wife to um just make everything easier for my husband like it really and yes that's like always the goal like he makes things easier for me I make things easier for him whether it's the kids whether it's cleaning up like all of that stuff but I feel like it's really easy especially as a stay-at-home mom and wife to feel like you do more your work isn't appreciated um you know your husband's always gone because this is what I always say when women talk about wanting to be a stay-at-home mom I'm always like I love it it's great though I work and though I'm not working right now because I'm on maternity leave though I work it's great like I definitely have no complaints this was something I asked him about very early on in our relationship like would you could you see me being a stay-at-home wife how would you feel about that like you know I feel like those are conversations you have to have very early on with whoever you are dating if that is something that you desire because it's not every man's desire for his wife to be a stay-at-home wife mom all of that so um having clarity about that is super super important so let's just start there um we've already clarified from way before we were married had kids engaged all that stuff that it was something that i desired and i wanted to know how he felt about it so just to clear that up um so saying that all saying all of that to say it is my job as a wife my god-given portion to make things easier for my husband and while we were talking about his job and you know it's like he's working hard on his off days he's like still got to do stuff which admittedly I've been like but it's your off day like if it's an off day baby it's off we should be off there should be no communication there should be no email checking all of that stuff but I know why he's doing it and I know why he has to continue to do it um and it just really I feel like that was just a moment that God was just like but this is why you need to be this is why you before you even knew this is why I needed to be in a position to be a stay-at-home mom and wife before I even knew what he would have to deal with and go through as far as work this is why I needed to be um, in the role that I'm in and it just goes to show how important you know a wife is to a man you know your your her husband her husband not just any man um you know how important it is for me to be a wife to my husband like you know he's my I'm his helpmate he's my leader all of these things and having that conversation it reminded me and I feel like it was a nudge from God like this is why you're doing what you do this is why you're a stay-at-home wife this is why you're a stay-at-home mom this is why you are a good fit for what you do and I just that was really a good moment and I felt it was so important because it's so easy to just always again feel even if you're not trying to feel that way it's easy to feel like man like you know I'm doing all this stuff you know my husband just goes to work and comes home and I've done all the cleaning I've done all the cooking I've done all the caring and diaper changing and bath giving and all of that stuff it's so easy to just feel like you're the only one giving in those situations when you know uh, your husband because we're only gonna speak for for husbands for married people at this point your husband is giving something else and enduring something else so it's my job to be his safe space it's my job to you know uh, be the person that he can come home to vent to and make sure everything else is handled and ultimately on top of that the scripture tells us to um do things as if you're doing them to the lord not for man and though i know that scripture and though i've uh, meditated on that scripture it's not easy to do things only to the lord and really feel fulfilled in the sense of like i'm doing a good job i know i'm doing a good deed and it's for the lord it's only for him you know it's not for my husband even though yes it is for my husband but ultimately i'm doing it for the lord anyway so um 
I feel like there's just so many lessons that the scripture gives us and God will drop those and the Holy Spirit will drop those little nuggets into you when you, I'm not even going to say least expect them, but it is sometimes when you least expect them or when you need them the most, when you need that confirmation the most. Um, and I haven't been feeling resentful or anything, so I don't know, you know, no need to try to dissect this into anything, but it was just a good feeling. Like I was washing the dishes and, you know, my son was watching Miss Rachel baby girl was I had her like propped up on a pillow on the couch just chilling um and uh, in the past I feel like especially as a new mom when it's easy to feel like not only am I freshly postpartum not only am I a new mom not only now my mom of two I'm doing all of these things it's so easy to just feel like you know you're doing a ton and not getting recognition for it but the reminder of it's like I don't need to be recognized for doing things that I'm supposed to be doing um and ultimately, if I'm doing it for God, like he sees, he knows, he, you know, understands and he's always with me. So he definitely sees how much I'm doing, all the things that I'm doing to make home easier for my husband. So that way he can handle work and take care of me and the kids the way that we desire for him to, the way that he's supposed to, all of these things, you know? So anyway it was just a good moment a good reminder a good nudge from God a good nudge from the Holy Spirit like you're good like what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing don't feel like you're not getting recognized don't feel like you need an award for it because ultimately this is your portion and uh, you know I'm not alone I'm not forsaken God is with me everything is for a purpose I want it to be a stay-at-home wife stay-at-home mom and how beautiful that I get to not only do that have that and have an additional income when I go back to work and all of those things but like essentially like need for nothing like I'm able to do what needs to be done he handles everything else and what a blessing that is so um that was just on my heart She's still awake. <laughs> um but that was just on my heart today so I don't know you know any wives that are watching this or stay-at-home moms or maybe you want to be a stay-at-home mom or wife or whatever and you know there's just this back and forth conversation about how uh, we can be grateful yes but it's like you know uh, um okay we can be grateful yes but still admit that things are hard so in the hard moments i just try to remember like you know what i'm not alone god is with me he's not forsaken me this is what i want it's what i asked for and how nice is it that I get to be the one that's like essentially in control of my household? Like I used to be a personal assistant for a job, for my for many of my jobs actually. So I'm essentially my own house manager. Like I'm the one that's making sure the house is good, making sure this is good, that is good, that the kids have something to eat, that you know there's stuff in the cabinet, stuff in the fridge, that my husband has what he wants and likes and desires, all of these things. So. Um, saying all of that to say stay encouraged don't let the enemy try to make you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not being recognized enough because the enemy would love to make stay-at-home moms and stay-at-home wives and i'm sure he does these things for women that do feel this way and that's not to say that your feelings aren't valid but if you feel this way if you feel the resentment or anything and it just feels strong it feels like you know what uh, my husband's not doing enough or this that and the third like I would really just take it to God and just pour your heart out as far as it pertains to your specific situation and just really let him um really let him handle it really let him be the forefront of whatever it is that you need to heal and address as far as as far as your household is concerned. So um, yeah, I don't even know if I made sense. I just needed to, I just needed to get that off, get that off of my chest. Um, I feel super blessed again that I can make things easier for my husband because he does have to take on a lot as far as work is concerned. And it doesn't, it doesn't help when the people that are supposed to be in charge or whatever don't do what they're supposed to do and they just expect the other people to do it or don't realize that the choices they make, which aren't always good choices, are potentially affecting everyone else. So um, I'm just grateful that I can be the type of wife that gets where he's coming from, supports him, understands him, but most importantly, takes care of everything at home. So yeah, I love that for me. I'm super grateful that God was like, uh, I'm gonna use these skills, uh, your skills as a personal assistant to, um, you know, to make you 
the perfect candidate for being a stay-at-home wife stay-at-home mom all the things like we're doing a good job i'm doing a good job and uh, even on the hard messy days or i'm just like what in the world um it's all good it's all for a reason and how blessed that i get to do it especially especially as a black woman especially as a black woman that means a lot to me so um i'm really grateful that you know you can it's such a blessing to be able to go to god with the things that bother you hurt you make you feel a way and let him work it out and show you why it needs to be this way show you why um it has to happen this way and the, the other thing too is like a lot of it's temporary like once we get to the why would you 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 child why would you um yeah it's very dangerous it's very dangerous out here in la um yeah just let the let the man go let the man go and just and just turn and just turn yep um it's just nice to have God on your side and I pray that more people realize our need for God their need for God the benefit of having God like there's just it's such a benefit to have God on your side to be able to show you these things in the scripture to give you these nudges to just let you know like it's all good like I got you I got y'all it's all for a reason everything is working out for your good I have it all laid out for you he's already gone before us just everything it's such a blessing so I don't know who needed to hear that. I don't know who that's for. It's definitely for me. But if you're, again, a stay-at-home mom or wife or whatever, um, I just encourage you to go to God with whatever may be on your heart. If you're feeling away or feeling like you're overwhelmed, stressed out, not getting the recognition you deserve, need, want, desire, gifts, whatever your thing is between you and uh, um, your partner and your household, I pray that... Um, I just pray that you would give it to God and let him let him sort it out for you because he will. He absolutely will. It'll be beautiful when he does. And you know, your everything that you're doing is not in vain. It's all it's all for a reason. So um I'm here at Whole Foods now. I'm gonna park and uh, get a couple of things for our household that I get to take care of. What a blessing. And I will wrap the chal in a little bit. Half pies, full pies. Soften up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie. You understand me? Walking down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky, and I'ma wait up on the giver here, deliver like a dealer. To take her. Every door and how the windows yeah, look the sun and we copy out the, the security guard is uh, your friend now and reminds you that you've always got good energy and that it's much appreciated every time you come into the store i think i've got my my whole foods card <laughs> dollars when I come here um, 
which I love. I feel like that's, um, I guess, relatively kind of the same amount that I would spend at Trader Joe's, but I also feel like I actually spend a little less here. Um, there are things that I like to get from Trader Joe's because I feel like they're cheaper and uh, it's like what I prefer as far as my yogurt, um, just certain things, certain things like sausages. Um, but I love that Whole Foods sells their stuff like pre, what's it called? Like they have like chicken wings, like pre-marinated, ready to be sold. Trader Joe's has that too, but it's like limited, limited items. But I love that uh, Whole Foods has a ton, a ton of things. a ton of things that um what's it called that are like already pre-marinated like that's what I need I need stuff that's like partially done for me because I don't want to have to like marinate it too even though I like how I season things but it's like if y'all marinate it for me I can just cook it you know just pop it in the oven I'm all about ease and convenience so I do love that Whole Foods has that kind of uh, like get up setup going on especially if it's like fresh fresh um like produce fresh meat and whatnot um what was i gonna say oh green arrow let me go i got me some coffee i got the honey vanilla latte this time instead of um instead of the brown butter g-wagon the brown butter sugar one um because i heard that the i ended up getting a straw i heard that the um one is just as good and yeah I need a Nespresso order but we're going to put that off for now I feel like first of all can we just get into the thing okay wait real quick so the whole g-wagon thing so you know how um well maybe you didn't do it but I feel like there was a good time where like a lot of people used to do, like the punch buggy thing so my husband and I do like g-wagons not punch punch buggy but we do g-wagon so when we see g-wagons it's always like g-wagon g-wagon like who who can get the most g-wagon points um which i think is pretty funny but anyways so that's why if you in my blogs if you're watching and i'm like calling g-wagon that's why <laughs> it's just a natural a natural habit and then of course in certain neighborhoods it's way more g-wagons to call than it is than there is not so um anyways that's where that comes from let me get a sip of coffee I mm, so good. I was saying that I what is happening? Um, I was saying that I need an espresso order. Um, please don't get over. And tow truck, you just gonna have to like one thing about, and maybe it's just an LA thing. Like maybe it happens in other cities too. But one thing about LA drivers, like we're like insufferable when it comes to missing a turn or something like people just act like they can't miss a turn like you can hit a right and then come back turn like you'll figure it out but like out here we're so like i have to make the turn at this light because this is my light like i get it but then y'all create so much unnecessary traffic because you won't just like reroute hit a quick right come back out at the light and go across like y'all gotta be able to what's the word reroute you've got to be able to like pull it together you know that's how i feel but anyway um store run was good store run was quick um i always you know know what i'm getting i always have a little list i love the whole 360 brand there are some things that i get oh i forgot to get some vegan charo beans from siete but anyway um yeah i just i like whole foods there's a lot that i love about whole foods and i will continue to shop there like i'm definitely a whole foods girly now like i said i've been i feel like i've gotten my whole foods card like <laughs> i'm in i need to um do amazon prime so i can uh, use it for the groceries but not having amazon prime because i don't use amazon prime like whenever i order from amazon i either do regular shipping or i'll pay for the next day shipping because i order so I order in such small amounts that to me paying the extra isn't like a big deal and then people were complaining about prime not priming so um yeah you know i'm not sure if i'm gonna jump on the prime wave but for someone who doesn't have prime i feel like i actually do really good as far as price and then oftentimes what i'm ordering or what i'm buying isn't even on sale for the most part so it's not like i'm really making a huge or it would make a huge dent in my my like cost my cost of what i'm buying anyway so mm. anyway 
but oh shoot, I just thought about that because I definitely, um, yeah, I'm about to be home. My husband took Sun Sun with him to one of the other micro farms, and I, I'm pretty sure I locked the house, even though we have construction going on, but I locked the house, so I need to get back so they can get in, but I'm almost home, so anyway. Yes, all of that. I don't even know what I was talking about. The food, the marinated stuff, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, everyone's just so nice to me at Whole Foods too. I could really do a quick Trader Joe's run, but I'm glad I didn't because I shopped with my husband. Like I said, they're about to be home. So I just need to go home. Tonight we're going to a family fun day um, put on by Cottonwood Church in Orange County, Carson, Los Alamitos-ish area, which is basically Carson-ish area not too far um, with our girlfriends and husbands and babies and all that good stuff. So that'll be fun, a good little family outing. It's free, minus like food trucks and stuff, which you would pay for, obviously. Um, but I'm excited to do that. I always just try to find something to do for the family with my husband, because like I was saying, he works so hard. So I just always like feel like I wanna find things for us to do where he can just have fun and uh, you know just have a moment so if it was up to him he'd probably work 24 7 but i'm gonna need them to bump up that that pay like if you want my man to work more than he's already working and he gets paid good like go throw an extra throw an extra 50 50 racks on it okay throw an extra 50k on it okay if you really want him to to be around the clock like that i'm gonna need him i'm gonna need a the, the pay to, to bump up significantly. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm almost home and I, do you have to get over? Do you have to get over? You have to get over, don't you? You have to get over. People are just super inconsiderate with their getting over. They just squeeze into spots where they're not fitting and it's like is this actually safe for me to get over see this is what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about in la it's like oh let me just squeeze in even though i know that my whole car is bigger than the space that i'm squeezing in like bruh come on it's a very insane behavior very insane behavior but here we are here we are so um hold on there's uh someone walking by the car um, and yeah, I actually don't even have any cash on me. I don't think I do. Like, do I? If I do, I will give you a video. Oh. There you go. Of course. Have a good one. God bless you. Um... I do have cash. I don't typically have cash, so I always feel bad because my husband always has cash. And my daddy, my daddy called me out a long time ago when I had my first BMW. He was like, you can't be driving a BMW and not have no cash on you and then slip me a 50. And I was like, eh, you're right. Um, so I try to keep cash on me so I can give it, give it away. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, people in LA with, with the driving, it's crazy. We're almost home, baby, we're almost home. So, yes, I feel like I'm just rambling. But anyways, I'm having fun vlogging. I feel like I'm getting a groove. Um, the goal is to get consistent. I actually feel like it's a little bit easier than I thought to do a weekly vlog. Um, I just try to get a little bit of, okay, baby. I can't give her her binky. I just try to get a little bit of everything as I'm doing something, at least a little bit of something. A little a little clip here, a little clip there, and then you get a vlog. Um, so that's kind of my goal these days, but I'm enjoying vlogging. I've put up a ton of YouTube shorts, of YouTube shorts lately, so um, that grew my, my subbies. I'm almost at 350, which yay, go me. <laughs> yeah, go mama. Um, we're almost home, baby. I'm gonna focus on getting home. And, uh, yeah, I don't want her, like, crying in the, in the background. So I'm just gonna focus on getting home. And then I will catch y'all later tonight. Family fun night, all the things. Um, yeah, all the things. I will catch y'all. Door and how the windows let the sun in.
Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you And I still pray we're now getting ready well our son just pooped like which is great that we caught it before we left because you always want to be able to change change your kids in a comfortable a comfortable spot but anyway um we're getting ready to go to oh lily moon ones are so cute i forgot how cute they are um to the family fun night with cottonwood church <laughs> Um, I don't know if anyone watching this is from LA or goes to Cottonwood, but we are headed to y'all's family fun night. So, sun is just getting a quick change. I am adding my Summer Fridays lip oil in, what's the shade? I think this one is Soft Mauve soft mob um and yeah we are gonna be on our way i feel like i need hand lotion again you know what i actually need um what is this stuff cuticle oil that's what i need cuticle oil um i just feel like my freaking car looks like a mom car as like there's just so much stuff in it like my husband keeps so much keeps so much stuff <laughs> Um, and mostly because he was taking my son places, but I'm like, I'm ready to like clear the car out. Like wipes and dipes, sure. A change of clothes, absolutely. Um, a toy, sure. But everything else has got to go. Um, I don't even be driving my car that much, but I want to reclaim my space. What did, what did, um, Courtney, I had saw it. So, um, I follow Green Eyes Gold Soul. Her name is Courtney Ag Agbatola, I think. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, but anyway, she, I think her son just turned six months, her second son. And she was like, all right, putting them like in their room, like reclaiming our space, making it an adult space again. And that's how I feel about my car. Like, I just kind of want to like make it an adult car again. <laughs> Obviously I have kids and they're not going anywhere, but um, I just want to like reclaim my space. Like, all right, all right. It's not only, it's not only about you guys. Okay, okay. Um, oh, how about we were looking for his fire truck. And of course <laughs> it's in the car with everything else that's back here. Everything else. It's like a Barney, it's like a Barney magic bag. Um, I used to love that episode too, back, uh, back there. So yeah, we should have everything now we've got the the fire truck we've got snacks we've got we've got it all so i'm gonna go ahead and gps i'm gonna drive i like to drive when i feel like i just like to drive certain times so anyway uh just waiting for them to come back and get in the car and we will be on our way so Okay, the makeup is popping again. I've been loving wearing strip lashes because I've been wearing eyeshadow and I, though I've worn eyeshadow when I've had lash extensions and when I do my DIY lash extensions, I prefer doing it with strip lashes because then you can like really do a full eye and not care well for me not care um like you know your lashes just don't get dirty and need all this extra cleaning so it's like you put your shadow on then you put the lash on then you do the rest of the face so the face the face is the face has been eating for sure and someone actually recently because i posted on my stories today they actually asked what my skincare routine was because the skin was skinning the skin is skinning so i'm really happy about that and i can't wait to share i filmed a little bit um um, of my skincare routine so yes i will follow up with y'all the, the fire truck was back here it was next to her car see it's right there it's like a barney magic bag back here everything is just back here <laughs> oh okay um so yeah we will catch y'all at the family fun 
copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product yeah. of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you. <laughs> And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break Cause I need to get away Just send me a break, cause I, I need to get away Cause I would rather be, rather be running away I would rather be, rather be running Dear God, won't you send me a break, cause I my friends who I love Ooh, my teeth look so white um yeah Cottonwood has a super nice church and come here son dad's coming right back he's coming right back come here he's coming right back he just took dog sister out okay he's going outside um <laughs> Cottonwood has a really nice church Huge church grounds. Um, it's a very beautiful campus, and yeah, that's it. Let me go get my kid. Let me let me go get my kid. False alarm. He did not go outside. That's my boy. That's my boy. I need to take my makeup off. I think I'm gonna take a late night shower when it's already 11:06. When the kids are settled, I just fed Makaya. Yes, so I think I'm gonna take my makeup off real quick, which is always so sad for me. Like, I love wearing makeup. I feel frustrated. I love wearing makeup. Um, yeah, take my makeup off and call it, call it a night. But I think, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower. So, anyway, today was fun. Me and my friends got kids. That's crazy. And a lot of people at the thing tonight had kids. That's crazy. And yeah, shout out to Cottonwood. Um, they seem like they run a real nice church. A real nice church. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Lies they told us so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, King will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take your Can't keep him going back To what I used to know Please hold my hand as I go down this road Can't keep going back Here, Merce, not, not on their grass Taking dog sister out We're getting work done so she just like can't hang out in the backyard Or at least where she couldn't, where wrapping up this week. Come on, Sam. 
We're wrapping up this week. So that'll be nice for her. She can. She can resume her normal duties of hanging out in the backyard. So come on. I never thought I would be the one, not the one, because that's not that's not a true statement, but um, what's it called? Like out here with two kids and the dog, because like my husband, for the most part, like handles the dog. Like you definitely take care of the dog, because I got the kids. So whenever I do all three, I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm really out here. But having a baby carrier totally, yeah. Having a baby carrier totally makes it so much easier because I cannot imagine like doing the stroller and it's not like the stroller, like obviously the stroller is fine, but um, like just trying to like do all that and then go on the walk, like just put the baby in the carrier. At least you know one is literally attached to you so you you can't miss them. <laughs> can't miss them, Gail is on. Um, and you're walking one. You just keep them, keep them close by. Keep them close by, so. Uh, we're going wherever you're going, dog sister. Are you done? Come on, Mav, I think she's done. <laughs> are you done, sister? Or are you just taking a, a pause? So, anyway. Anyway, that's all. That's all. I'm getting my hair done this Saturday. So hoping I don't get a hey boo. <laughs> it's Labor Day weekend. Like please let me get my hair done. <laughs> let me get my hair done. Um, come on, son. Come, we're going back. Huh. Yeah. So um getting my cut. Ooh. It's time for my Okay. Sometimes dog sister needs to lay down. It's time for my my cut. Oh. So like it's it's time. I need to make a couple appointments so I can keep it keep it um keep it up because uh, then uh, like holiday pictures, all that stuff. So I gotta I gotta be on my on my Zoom. I gotta be on my Zoom with my shoulder. Come on, Marsh, let's go. We're, we're close to home. Come on. <sighs> what a whirlwind. What a whirlwind. <laughs> okay. It has been a minute since I vlogged this week. Um, I put my last vlog out on a Tuesday. So I felt like I got my red nails back. I feel like when I... Um, when I thought about putting a vlog out, I was like, oh, I just, I just put a vlog out. So I am slightly discombobulated, <laughs> but we, we, we move. Wow. There's like literally dust and stuff falling in my car. There's been so much. Our neighbor is getting his like whole side lawn that used to have a driveway done. We're getting work done still. We should be done this like today, high key. Um, and yeah, so it's just been crazy and it's just been crazy. Like some days I'm like, everything is perfect. And then other days I'm just like, what the heck? We've got so much going on. So, um, where am I going? I'm going to go to Whole Foods first. So I'm going to Whole Foods, my usual catch up with y'all Whole Foods, um, week, day, whatever. And then I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Um, I just need to start getting the home. It's and it's so crazy because it's like I want to turn it into a home more, but we're gonna be adding on to our spot as well. Like it's just it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. So um, I'm gonna get some things. I'm not gonna get a ton of stuff. Um, but yeah, I am making a Home Goods run and a Whole Foods run. And then that's it. Yesterday felt so good. It was uh, yesterday. Yeah, I actually thought it was only this weekend, but I'm so glad 
that we were able to watch, but yesterday was the opener for college football preseason. I am a huge college football girly. I am a huge football girly, okay? I'm just a sports girly for real. I love sports. I love being able to just sit around the TV and veg out on teams and like your team and all that stuff. I don't know. I just love it. And we're huge Colorado Buff fans. My brother in love went there and played football there. So we were we were Colorado fans before um, before Prime got there. We were Colorado fans before Prime even got there. So when people like there are definitely bandwagoners who like Colorado now, but we are real OG Mike McIntyre before Mac McIntyre Mac Mac McIntyre Mac, Mac Coach McIntyre before Coach Mac. Um, so we're like OGs for real, for real. Like brother in love played football. Okay, so we've been about it, been about it for real. So we're definitely a Colorado family. Um, and then Prime is just the icing and the cherry on top. Um, love the Sanders family. We're big fans, big fans. So anyway, yesterday was a college season opener, Colorado One, which is a very nice, you know, love to start that way. Um, but it just felt so good to just sit with the family, my mom, my mother-in-law, my two kids and my husband and myself and just sit and enjoy how you doing sister bless you and just sit and enjoy college football and to get a win like it's just there's so much pressure there's so many things colorado's uh, moved into the big 12 so there's just a lot of there's a lot going on a lot happening and uh, um their what's it called their schedule this year is super crazy like kansas we've got so the pac-12 basically a bunch of schools from the pac-12 moved um so arizona arizona state i believe utah and colorado um moved from pac-12 to the big 12 and then BYU, some other schools moved out of the Big 12 to go to another conference. And then, yeah, so anyway, their conference is tough. And it's not that I don't believe that Colorado can definitely do it, like they can for sure. Um, but we're immediate, like, you know, it's your first, last year was Prom's first year, and then this year, um, this might be super loud, this year it's their, like, they're in a new conference so it's just it just feels like a lot of pressure i'm not even playing and it feels like so much pressure but i just want them to do good i want them to win i want shador to i mean he had 400 he probably had more by the end of the game he had like 500 um 500 uh, uh rush yards yesterday passing yards passing yards on the ground on the ground on the ground he had lots of yards yesterday <laughs> like i'm getting all flustered um, but it was good. It was good. They definitely had a couple of errors that you just gotta, you know, make sure that you're you clean up. You know, you don't want any little ticky tack, unnecessary errors just for the sake of it. So, um, okay, I'm hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reopen this. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, anyway, it was a good game. We won. That's the most important. Clean up all the other stuff after. Um, but it just felt so good. My mother and I, are, my mother in law and I are so into it. Um, and we were just both like, man, it feels so good to just be on the couch. Like the renos of the big house are almost done, um, and we can like sit in here and enjoy the fruits of the upgrades and the updates and just be a family. So I just love that for us. <laughs> love that for her. Love that for us. It's a big deal. Um, it's that time of year. It's the most wonderful time of year. I know people are always like, you guys rush fall and let summer finish and all of that stuff. But there's just so many reasons why I personally love fall. There's just, you slow down, like in sports, everything, you're just with family more, I feel like. Um, that's just how it goes. And the routine and the like vibes for our household, okay? So I love it. Um, yeah, still, still in the thick of two months postpartum, still in the thick of postpartum, but totally, totally loving it. So anyway, um, it's Friday, it's a long weekend, it feels like it's a Saturday, and that's mostly because my days are like all off anyway. I just, like, earlier I thought Tuesday was, when I was just a mess, I thought Tuesday was Monday, and then when it was Wednesday, I was like, uh, it's just crazy, so... 
my days are all over the place. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm excited. And I am just going to wrap this up now because I'm about to get to Whole Foods in a little. Um, I need to do a video, like, dump from old videos in my phone and get finish the, like, job of putting something on my hard drive because now that I record in cinematic mode, a lot of, obviously, the videos are bigger, so I need to, like, the file is bigger, so I need to just, like, get that together, um, get all those old clips of my son off my phone. Like I love them and I want to be able to like access them, but I still have access to them. They would just be on my hard drive. So I need to really like tap in this weekend, like tonight. Um, I'm gonna edit this vlog and just get it up, get it done. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get, get some stuff done. I, I gotta get some stuff done. So um, that is that. And yeah, I will wrap with you guys in a little bit. It's me and baby girl, Sun Sun. Y'all, I gotta tell y'all real quick actually. So I might just keep this going until I get the whole thing. So yesterday, my son, so like, I feel like it's totally not uncommon for a kid to like dig in their diaper. Like he, I don't even know that I would say it's like digging in your diaper, but like he will put his hand in his diaper, whatever, whatever, no big deal. Um, typically there's not any poop in there when he does it. And it's like, he's watching Miss Rachel, like he just puts his hand in his diaper, um, or like he's like scratching his butt, like typical boy, typical like kid stuff, typical, all that stuff. Um, so yesterday he dug in his diaper or like put his hand in there and I, I mean, maybe, you know, I feel like he knows that he pooped, but I don't feel like he intended to like put it in there the way that he did, um, scratch his butt or whatever the way he did. And then all this poop was on his hand. So uh, I was uh, standing up in the kitchen and do I know that guy? No, I don't. Um, and he comes to me and he's just like, oh, okay, which is the thing that he says. And then he like wipes his hand all over me. So like all over my like legs. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, whatever. Um, he's done that with like crumbs and stuff. So it wasn't like super uncommon. But when I looked, I was like, oh no. Um, the boy had poop all over his hands. So he rubbed it all over my left leg. And then it was like so much that it was like still on his hands. So then I had to what's it called so then i had to um i had to hurry up and wash his hands i was carrying the baby so i was just like please don't get it on the carrier like i don't even have time to wash this even though i would obviously but like the way that i carry her so much like when you're a mom of two you you know how much you use your baby carrier um but i literally carry her so much that i'm just i don't even have time to like put a put this in the washer even though again i would um but yeah so it was just super crazy so i managed to wash his hands and get him get his diaper changed then i managed to get her out of the carrier which was untouched and i just threw my outfit away it was an amazon an amazon uh what's it called like jumpsuit one piece thing that i bought back when uh, we were going to disneyland for my son's first birthday in 2023 in december um so i was just like yeah this it can go it can go like i'm not even gonna try to use wipes and try to for me when it comes to poops and blowouts and stuff like unless it's an outfit that i really really like for the babies at least i'm like in the trash in the trash i'm not even like trying to salvage stuff like kids just go through you okay sister we're almost there um kids just go through stuff so quickly and i just felt the same way about my outfit i was like you know what i have the luxury of being able to throw this away i don't need to um what is your where's your oh here it is i don't here we go sister Can't see your mouth baby we're almost there too um but i was gonna have the luxury of like throwing this outfit away so i'm just gonna throw it away so okay well we're almost there i am like trying to put her binky in her mouth and her face is turned slightly to the side so i like can't quite do it but anyway i'm uh, yeah, so that is what happened yesterday, and that was just one of those, like, you can't even be mad about it moments. So, anyway, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit so I can make sure my baby's okay. My 
favorite security guard is here and I finally got his name. Y'all, why is his name Dasani? <laughs> but we appreciate it because we, what well, flavor am I looking at? Pink lemonade. We like to be protected. So I like to always ask the names of the folks that I frequently talk to and see. And uh, let's see about their marinated stuff, yeah. I got us some wings. I'm feeling like it's a football, it's a football weekend. It's a Labor Day weekend and we're going somewhere on Sunday, but um, for tonight and tomorrow, like let's keep it simple. Let's make it, make it simple. Make it easy. I'm still gonna get us food when I go back home. But yeah, I just was like, let me, let me get some wings. Let me, let me get some wings. the most that I've spent at Whole Foods. I spent less than 200, almost about 192, I think. Um, but I'm really happy because I also got some of their meat, like their wings and stuff. Like I'm excited. And then y'all, I scuffed my pretty white Bomeros on the basket because I was trying to turn around. So I was like, but when I get to the car, I'm getting a baby wipe and I am. I am gonna go to work real quick. Um, and so far, that has helped tremendously. But yeah, the security guard's name is Dasani. He's like, like the water, so you won't forget it. I'm like, all right. Um, so yeah, um, I like knowing the security guards and like people when I go to certain places. Plus, I'm not like a rude girl. Like, you know, people just like, like, you're a security guard, like, you're here to just stand around. But I'm like, if I ever needed something and I was, in Whole Foods, like I usually come, not usually, the last couple of times that I've come, I've come by myself just so it's quicker, like don't have to bring the whole family. I usually have one of my kids, um, that whole thing, but I, I like to know who, who is who and what is what, because if I need to shout, if somebody needs to protect me, like while I'm with my kids or something, like best believe, best believe. I'm gonna know who to who to shout for, okay? So, anyway, now I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Mostly, we need like new rugs for the bathroom. Um, I want. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Okay. Everyone's like walking in the middle of the road, so. Anyway, I um, we need some new rugs. We need a rug outdoors. We need a rug for the bathroom, a new one. Um, I'm like, what else? Oh, they had my Mountain Valley water, y'all. They had a case just for me. They had a case just for me to recoup from um, the time that I told y'all that they would always have my water. And they did. There's people. <laughs> Um, oh, listen, the Amazon driver guy, he's not looking very, anyway, I'm not gonna talk about people, but anyway, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna go swoop to Home Goods, get us something to eat, and then I will probably do wings for Denton, pop them in the air fryer, I got some lettuce for some salad, um, what else? Yeah. If you find a spot to your left,
Um, what's it called? Get us some food because uh, you know you get groceries. You gotta, you gotta, ma'am. Right, ma'am. You're like literally holding stuff up. What, what, what are you doing? You should not sit here. sitting there because you're effing everything up. Just effing everything up. I'm like, girl, you are effing everything up. <laughs> so, yes. Hi, sister. Sister is awake. Not sure if she wants shade or not. I don't even know if that shaded her or not. But anyway, yeah. So, I got a bunch of stuff. My husband, like, I'm finding because I've been coming here. Like, I literally, you guys, I can't even say i'm actually gonna pop in the trader joe's today for one thing for my son maybe two things yogurt and his kefir but i have not been to trader joe's in a minute like i'm really i'm really a whole foods girl i, I told y'all like it's not that i'll never ever go to trader joe's again but um yeah i've really become a hardcore whole foods girly which is super we have the green light Sir Bob, Sir Bob. Um, the people in LA, you guys, <laughs> you get to see real life. You, I wish I could. I wish. Um, that's probably what I need to get though. Um, what's it called? Like a dash cam, so y'all can really see why I just have to like. <laughs> It's so crazy. But anyway, um, what was I trying to say? Oh, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in, in a minute, y'all. It's been a minute, minute. Um, it's like I go in for a couple of things and then I don't go because I just have been coming to Whole Foods. And I love because, uh, um, what's it called? I love the fact that there's like, of course, the Whole Foods brand, similar to like Good and Gather at Target, etc. But we're really starting to like take a liking to the Whole 360 brand and like figuring out what we like. Um, my husband and my son love their like round crackers. I like the vanilla wafers. I got some like store brand Oreos because I refuse to eat Oreos um, because I high key um, I'm not gonna say that actually. I do have self-control. When it comes to Oreos though, I feel like I just eat the whole container because they're so good. I always get double stuff. Like it's really a whole thing. Um, I really love, I really love my red nails. But um, yes, yeah, so we're like figuring out what we like from the store, which I like. And um, yeah, I think at some point I'll probably invest in a Prime membership so that way um, like I feel like I come to Whole Foods now enough to the point where it's like a prime membership makes sense Like I should definitely be getting a discount and getting stuff on sale and I don't buy everything that's So I'll say it this way. Of course if you've been to Whole Foods There are certain things that are like prime sale and then there are other things that are just like store sale So I don't buy a ton of stuff that is specifically prime sale, but I'm like having the option and I feel like there are certain things that I tend to buy that are more on the pricier side which I don't mind spending the money but it's like if I can get it for the prime discount like I might as well so yeah at this point I'm I'm a Whole Foods girly like I was gonna get coffee but I was like no you're going to Home Goods and you are that guy looks like Stevie J if he had an afro um <laughs> and you're gonna get food so um yeah i think and i really don't want to do chick-fil-a because i'm like off chick-fil-a for real for real but i think i'm gonna get chick-fil-a um because okay so some of y'all may or may not know there's a girl named her name is campbell but um on instagram it's her and her husband jet and he calls her pookie so like to the internet she's known as pookie and i like them i think they're so cute like i love maybe it's just more of like a, a me thing but i love aspirational um people <laughs> like i love people that i look like that I look at that we don't live the same lifestyle by any means um and maybe people feel that way about me I'm not sure but I like aspirational people like I'm not a hater so I there are very few people that I follow who I know 
for a fact, anyone that follows them would know for a fact that they actually live the life that they um, portray online, number one. And then number two, they just have really good personalities. Like I really like those kind of people and they have to be aspirational. So I can name like on less than 10 fingers, the people that I follow, but Pookie, Pookie and Jet are now one of them. So Pookie yesterday, she's currently pregnant. And it's so funny because I, interestingly enough, realized how much women that are pregnant not all women, but as a, someone that craved banana when I was pregnant, banana ice cream, banana this, banana that. Um, it's so funny when I see other women like craving the same thing. Um, so Pookie was at Chick-fil-A and she gets the Cobb salad. I normally get the spicy Southwest salad, which I'm kind of like off of, but she gets the Cobb salad. She gets it with buffalo sauce, or like she gets a packet of buffalo sauce. And then she does the avocado lime dressing, which I do love as well. Um, and they have their new banana milkshake and their new banana frosted coffee and i was like wait a minute i'm about to go try all of that so i think um that's why i went chick-fil-a i went the cop salad it looked amazing like duh why wouldn't i get a cop and put buffalo sauce on it and i have extra at home in case i need a little bit more because chick-fil-a charges for their sauces now 50 cents for extra like crazy um oh there's a knot in here anyway so I'm gonna get a cop salad. I'm gonna get a large fry. I'm gonna get my husband what he normally gets. I'll probably get a frosted coffee. I may get the banana one just to try it. She said it was, a, she didn't say it was mid, but she was just like the banana milkshake definitely has more of like a banana, definitely has more of a banana um, like flavor to it. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna try the frosted coffee because I want coffee already. So I might as well just, I'm gonna just do it, okay? I'm gonna just do it. So now I'm on my way to Home Goods. I went to Whole Foods first though, which I'm happy about because knowing that I have stuff in the car that actually, I don't really have anything that's frozen. That's normally when I go to Trader Joe's. I get more like fresh stuff from Whole Foods. But anyway, 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 I am rambling. This has now become 10 minutes long. Um, I went to the store first, so that way it was like, okay, bet. I won't be able to be in Whole Foods for too long. I mean, home, home goods for too long because I've got groceries in the car. So that's my like hack for going to Home Goods, getting what I need, and getting up out of there. I'm not getting no skincare. I'm not getting no makeup. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not getting any makeup. I'm not getting any of that. I may look to see if they have if they have perfume though, because high key people have been finding um, Mason Margiela uh by the fireplace in in home goods so i'm just saying if i ours is connected to tj maxx so i'm just saying if i find it in there that i'm again but everything else i'm not getting anything um no makeup no nothing i'm going strictly for the home stuff rugs um rugs i may get my storage bins today um yeah you know it's like i'm good it's like i can be at home not spend money for days and then I go and I just blow all the money to blow all the money on everything that we need but you know it's all good it's all good um I will always have seed I sow my seed and I will always have seed as a result and that's word to word to God and that's word to Chad Brown for speaking that over the life of our ministry lord that was such a good sermon last Sunday but anyway um ooh, let me get off because it's looking like there's some traffic up there and I'm gonna cut through I'm gonna cut through I don't do I it's Friday people trying to get out of town it's everything it's everything it's everything so yeah um
for what's it called is so long and none of these people came uh ever this whole time they've been here i'm convinced the line is so long for snowball but tomorrow's the last day so um uh, but like we were saying half of these people have never come like and i know it's popular in the summer but you gotta come all year round like you can't just wait until they close like come on y'all you definitely can't just wait until they're about to close to decide to come. They're probably gonna like run out of stuff. Um, but yeah, it totally doesn't surprise me. Um, but that's the also, and I know I'm like, <laughs> where, 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 where are you going? Like, where are you going? Um, uh, people just, the left turn, like people are willing to risk it all for the left turn, baby, for the left turn. It's very, it's very dangerous. Um, but yeah, I know I have the convenience of living close so I can go to Snowball whenever or could. Um, but I'm like, the line is OD so long. And I'm just glad that I know the people. I know the people, the people, the people, the people. Okay, I know the people. Um, so yeah, that this is, this is it for Snowball though. The best. I still have mine. I was telling my husband I want to come back and get another one. But I don't know. We may have to come like first thing in the morning tomorrow when they open. Um, because otherwise, uh, I'm gonna have to really eat, savor my last, <laughs> my last snowball that I currently have in the freezer. But the the thing about them that made them the best is it's the like way that they shave the ice. Like the flavors are really good too. Don't get me wrong, but a snowball snow cone is not the same as a snow cone where it's like the ice is like chunky ice and then the flavor falls through the crevices like no 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 snowball is like powder it absorbs the flavor that's what makes it good and then now i'm never going to be able to get a freaking funnel cake without going to a theme park like who's got or or the fair like who's got funnel cakes i could just get one like on a monday you know so definitely sad about that but hey you know like i said all them people that are in line today weren't there enough to to make it worth you know like staying and keep them technically like in business so um it just bees what it bees but they are available they said they'll be available for private parties so i'm really excited about that um because i definitely like yes come come cater come come cater the event please um super clutch so yeah that's that's it though that's it oh yeah and i got my chick-fil-a i got my pookie my pookie meal as uh, she said that people are calling it i feel like it has to be called that um i got the banana frosted coffee because they have banana frosted coffee okay i'm just gonna come through because this guy's driving so slow um thanks 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 um I got the banana frosted coffee, I got my Cobb salad, I got my buffalo sauce, I got my avocado lime dressing, okay. I got my husband, what he wanted. I got him the banana milkshake, which is also new for the season. Um, and then his regular, um, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I feel like I'm about to have a fire meal right now. I feel like I'm about to have a fire meal. I got what I needed from the store. I got what I needed from Home Goods. I got what I needed from Chick-fil-A today. Um, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm really excited for the weekend. <laughs> Not like I have anywhere else to be or anything else to do, but I'm just looking forward to all the football that I'm about to, to veg out on. I'm looking forward to all the football that I'm about to veg out on. I just love football so much. And now I have a vlog to edit. So yeah, that is, that's that. That's, that's that. I'll try to do maybe like a, kind of show what I got from the store but um yeah we'll see we'll see so anywho talk to y'all almost home almost home which what's it called the chick-fil-a mm -hmm. uh Los Angeles square the line for what's it called is so long for a snowball it's like in the parking lot long yeah. I was like what yeah. all these figures yeah. who've never who've never even come before like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mommy is making the pookie salad, the cob salad with the buffalo and the avocado lime. Kai? Yeah, shout out to our girl Pookie. Yep. Like, why didn't I think of this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 